Hey everyone, welcome to the video of the week. Today's video of the week is WWE NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3 match predictions and WWE SummerSlam pay-per-view match predictions. Um, we're going to start out with NXT TakeOver being that that is the first one to come this Saturday. Um, so we're going to get right into it. NXT TakeOver Brooklyn has some awesome matches in line to go over, and so here we go. Bobby Roode will be defending the NXT Championship against Drew McIntyre in a singles match. In which I'm going for Drew McIntyre, um, and I think it might actually be time for Drew McIntyre to win the NXT Championship. Moving on, we have Asuka. Taking on Ember Moon for the NXT Women's Championship in a singles match. Though I am an Asuka fan, I honestly got to say I'm Ember Moon fan just as much as I am Asuka fan. And I think it's time for Ember Moon to finally beat Asuka and win the NXT Women's Championship. Then you had the Authors of Pain taking on Sanity for the NXT Tag Team Championships. And what I'm going for Sanity. I think it's it's their time. They're very um, still fresh in NXT. And I think it's definitely time for them to actually have some gold. Then you have Aleister Black versus Hideo Itami in a singles match. In which I'm going for Aleister Black. I honestly think that he's been dominant since his debut. And it's definitely going to be... A match of the decade between these two. And last but not least for NXT TakeOver, we have Johnny Gargano taking on Drade Cien Almas in a singles match. In which is definitely going to be a great match. In which I'm going for Johnny Gargano. Moving on, let's get into our SummerSlam matches. SummerSlam. We have... John Cena taking on Baron Corbin in a singles match in which I'm going for John Cena because I honestly think that Baron Corbin could be doing better with his career but he's not really getting that chance and so I think John Cena needs to take him up a little bit in this match make him look good in this match then you have Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt in which Finn Balor said that Bray Wyatt will be meeting the Demon King which is definitely going to be an awesome awesome thing to see once again. You haven't really seen Finn do that for quite some time now. Um but I'm going for Finn Balor as you didn't as you probably already could guess. I'm a huge Finn Balor fan. So I'm definitely going for Finn. I think it's time for Finn to get a win over Bray now. Then we have Big Show versus Big Cass in a singles match with Enzo Amore in the Shark Cage. I'm going for Big Cass. However, I think that something might happen to where Enzo and Big Cass might end up getting together. I've been hearing that rumor a lot lately. And if that's the case, I don't understand the whole concept of this whole rivalry. It was pretty much just for nothing, if that's the case. But, nevertheless, I'm going for Big Cass. Then you have Sheamus and Cesaro defending the Raw Tag Team titles in a tag team match against two members of The Shield in Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, in which I'm going for the Shield members Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. I think it's definitely something new and it's awesome to see them back together. Then you have Randy Orton versus Rusev in a singles match in which I'm going for Randy Orton. Um, this is a match that I've been waiting to see for quite some time now and I honestly think it's going to be an amazing match. Then you have New Day versus The Usos in a tie team match for the SmackDown tie team titles in the Usos rematch clause. I honestly am going for The Usos. However, I do see New Day picking up the victory. 
Then you have AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens in the United States title match. And what I'm going for AJ Styles with Shane McMahon being the guest referee. Anything can happen though. Tozawa defending his newly won Cruiserweight title against Neville in his rematch in a singles match. I'm going for Neville. I never really liked Tozawa. That's just my personal opinion. But um, I can definitely see why people like him. Then you have the SmackDown women's title match between Natalia and Naomi. And what I'm going for Natalia, I think it's her time to shine and it's her time to win the title. Then we have the Raw women's title match between Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks. In which I'm going for Alexa Bliss. This match happened last pay-per-view. In which I honestly, I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to be rude to Sasha. I really ain't. But I think it's time for someone else to truly get a shot. I mean, the last couple pay-per-views she's been in title matches or in some type of match. I think it's definitely time for someone else to definitely get a title shot for the Raw Women's title. Then you have the Fatal 4-Way for the Universal title between Brock Lesnar, Braun Strowman, Samoa Joe, and Roman Reigns. In which I will be honest with you, I'm going for either Samoa Joe or Braun Strowman. But if Roman Reigns wins, I'd be okay with it just because I really never really cared for Brock Lesnar as a champion. Um... And I really don't want to see Brock Lesnar anymore in WWE. So I'm hoping that Brock Lesnar loses this match somehow. That's just my personal preference. Um, but moving on, we have our final match for SummerSlam that they have set so far. Which is Jinder Mahal versus Nakamura for the WWE title in a singles match. In which I'm going for Nakamura. I honestly think that Nakamura could have this match in the bag. And... Nakamura is one of them stars that could truly do it. One versus the world in a way. Have a great day. Peace. That's the end of this video of the week. Hope you guys agree with some of my predictions. And I hope you guys like them. Next Sunday's video of the week will be WWE NXT TakeOver Brooklyn coverage. And WWE SummerSlam pay-per-view coverage. As well as shoutouts as well. For the post that I posted on Twitter and Facebook. Have a great day. Peace. Thank you guys for watching.